Hey. So, ooh, before I start, you have to see outside. It's really crazy. Oop, I'm plugged in. Ah! Look, though. Look at all this snow. It's still coming down, and it's going to keep snowing. And I know I probably shouldn't be excited about snow. Um, definitely keep everybody who's still recovering from the hurricane in your prayers because I'm sure it's really, really crazy difficult. But for me right now, I really love snow. Anyway, um, I didn't post yesterday. Um, and that was because of the elections. Um, I was actually in Times Square. It was insane. Um, I mean, I have obviously been rooting for Obama this entire election. Um, I almost kind of have to as a woman and a college student and someone who's, you know, not blonde and doesn't wear pearls. <laughs> I guess I do sometimes wear pearls. That was the stereotype. I'm just saying that, I don't know. I, I felt very, very strongly that Obama needed to win this election. And I was terrified that he wouldn't for a little while there yesterday morning. Um, but he, of course, came out on top, and I'm very, very pleased with that. So that was a crazy great experience. Um, it was the first election I was able to vote in because I'm 20, um, which is weird. So that was exciting. Um, but I'm going to post my two poems today, uh, still working on the Facebook challenge. Today, um, my challenge was writing, and that's Julie Getz, who I'm going to see later tonight at class, in class, at class, in class. Um, and then Isaac Burnett, uh, gave me women. So the first one's writing Julie's poem, and I'm going to go. I couldn't force myself to dream you. I, I felt you on my shoulder telling me right from wrong. I felt you underneath the skin on my right elbow bending with my joints. I felt you in my hypothalamic pituitary adrenal cortex. And I knew you were there, even if no one else did. But when I closed my eyes at night, you were not in the palm of my hand, hidden in the blue web of veins at my wrist, or just behind my earlobe. You weren't swimming in the dip of my collarbone. You weren't tickling my heels or tangled in my hair. And I wanted so badly to tell you everything that mattered. I wanted to ask you questions about your grandparents and why you drink so much and the scars on your kneecaps. I wanted to know you, so I wrote you down. Um, and then the next poem is about women. Um, and this one's for Isaac. I'm not a stereotype. I've never loved Barbies or clipping coupons. I am not a rainbow played out in only pink. I am not daisies and daisy dukes or pearls or eyelashes. You wish you knew what I am. I am a mystery even to myself. I am made to feel afraid every time I step outside. I step outside anyway. I am not my body. I am not just my mind either. I am not purses and Audrey Hepburn. I am not crying. I am not you. Okay, so that's both of those poems. Um, you guys have a great day, um, and I'll see you tomorrow.